100 hours of practicing shots and shooting. Oh, uh, wow. So let me start by saying at the start of the month, I was diamond two to diamond three in ones and champ three in twos and threes. At the end of the month of training, I'm currently sitting at champ one in ones and grand champ in both twos and threes. This month has been my favorite so far as I've seen direct impact that the training has had on my gameplay. Also, because it was shooting, I could actually follow some sort of actual training routine and give you guys the same drills to work on if they showed results, which they did. In this month's 100 hour video, I'll go over each of the drills, the results at different stages of the month, and what was learned and improved throughout the process. Now, the last installments of this series have been flashy mechanics like air dribbling and flip resets, but I think at the moment, the way forward is to work on the fundamentals as they obviously provide a lot more in terms of improvement. So leave a comment down below on what you'd like the next 100 hour video to be focused on, but this time, I'll leave it as a surprise until the video comes out. One last thing I do want to say is I do stream on Twitch and would love to see you there. Streaming is helping me to make content creation my full-time job, so if you want to catch me live and show your support, please head over and follow the channel there. The link is in the description. Anyway, let's first jump into the drills. To start with, I knew if I tried any sort of workshop map, the console players would rise up and complain in the comments. So I left it out. I trained using a few training packs, free play, and a lot of 1v1s. Here was my typical daily routine. I would start off with a free play session. The typical hitting the ball as hard as you can and keeping it moving around the field. This is to train power from different positions. This is going for about five minutes before I would switch to hitting the ball from kickoff and then trying to shoot off the rebound. A great way to train some of the more angle shots that can become quite tricky when moving with some speed. After another five minutes of this, I would head into custom training. Now really quickly at this point, I just want to say the training pack codes will be in the description. I know a lot of you get a little bit confused about where I posted them, but they are always in the description. Custom training is where I did the majority of my training over this course. I would cycle through the few training packs, not trying to complete them at 100%, but trying to make my shots harder, more accurate, and more difficult to save if there was a defender in the goal. Every time I did a training pack, I would run through each shot at least three times, resetting it regardless of whether or not I scored. This was to drill in muscle memory and to try different angles. Then, after making my way through the entire pack, I would run it through again, just repeating the training pack process. By this point, I've done about 10 minutes of free play training and about 10 minutes of custom training with everything being focused on shooting. From here, I would head into 1v1s. Whether I win or lose these games was never important. The objective of the training is to improve my shooting, and so throughout the games, I would look at my shots to see where I could improve. I would work to see if there were any better ways to place the ball, ways to get more power behind it, and ways to make it harder to save. After a few games, I would head back into free play to hit the ball around and then work on anything specific I thought I was lacking with my shooting in the ones games. Then I would go back and forth between free play and custom training, working on those floors. After a decent amount of time working on the floors, I'd head back into the ones games and rinse and repeat. So there is my entire training routine and drills broken down for you. I suggest trying it out or adjusting some of the training packs to your skill level by going through and trying some of the ones in the browse feature. Now comes the interesting part, my progress. At the start of the training, I found that I was hitting an all right amount of shots. In free play, I could keep the ball moving with some pace and when it came to shooting, I wasn't bad at all. In the custom training packs, I quickly realized that while I was scoring, I was hitting the ball in some pretty easily savable places. In the 1v1s, it was very hit and miss. There are times where I'm hitting really good shots and there are times where I'm missing clear open nets. This let me know something I was already very aware of. I was inconsistent. Working my way through the first few hours, I could see I was making mistakes, not getting enough power for a shot to be a threat, shooting down the middle and not really changing the way I hit the ball. I began to change this up very quickly once I was made aware of it, focusing more time in custom training packs, working on the different ways to score the same goal. I would say before the shot where I wanted to place the ball and then keep going until I could hit it. Then, once I scored in the spot I wanted to, I'd reset the shot and try a different part of the goal. This is extremely repetitive and some of you will definitely find it very boring, but I think it's almost essential if you really want to drill good shooting into your gameplay. After this change, I was spending a good hour in different custom training packs every day, and it started to show my gameplay. 
my shots were getting more difficult to save, they were being placed in better spots, and I was actually getting a little bit more creative with how I was shooting. It felt good to see progress fairly quickly, as this was only up until about the 25 hour mark. From 25 hours to 50 hours, I spent a lot of my time in 1v1s. I used this period of the month to really look at my 1v1 gameplay and try to focus on how to shoot with a defender present. Now, as you will have seen in the beginning of the video, my rank went up, but not immediately. In this section of the month, I actually dropped down a diamond 2 for a while, and I'm very glad I did. You see, while I was playing, I was starting to try shooting from a distance a lot more. I would end up around the halfway mark and would focus on trying to hit powerful shots on net. This led to a lot of missed opportunities and giving up a lot of the possession, which resulted in a lot of losses. Let me remind you at this point, the goal was never to win. The goal was to improve. And I did. My shots from a distance got much better over time, and I was able to get pretty consistent power from around the halfway point. While my rank dropped, my shooting had increased. This was something I would then back up in custom training by working through different power shot training packs to work on getting speed behind the ball from different situations. Needless to say, this period of training was very effective, because even though I might have lost a few ranks, I got better in certain aspects of my gameplay, which in the end resulted in ranking back up anyway. From around the 50 to 75 hour mark, I began to notice that a lot of the times when I was missing shots or not getting a good amount of power behind my shots, it was to do with the way I was preparing and turning the car beforehand. This was something that I'd been putting down to lack of control and had the mindset that muscle memory will just sort it out. Unfortunately, muscle memory was the reason why I'd gotten this far and was still making mistakes. I had developed bad habits and instead of actively looking to fix my small turning issues, I let them become part of my shooting and at this point, had to go back and try to kind of unlearn it by starting fresh. Thankfully, this only really affected shots where I had to make those tighter sharp turns and then take a shot, which meant it was important for counterattack situations or moments when my opponent was slightly off guard and let me take a quick shot. This did, however, take a long, long time to figure out, and I'm still making those same mistakes now due to bad habits affected by muscle memory in the early stages of the progress. I'm still slightly understeering and oversteering sometimes, which leads to me missing some really easy shots. But overall, I'm happy I caught it around the halfway mark, otherwise I can imagine I'd be missing a lot more now. Now, for the last section of the 100 hours, a lot of it was rinse and repeat. Working through the original training schedule, figuring out any flaws, and then drilling them in custom training and free play. This is also where I started playing the other two game modes and instantly saw my improvement come through there. My shots were the best they'd ever been, and I'd somewhat fixed my small shooting issues. I become a lot more consistent and I managed to make my way from C3 Division 2 all the way to 1600 in threes, a game mode that I barely play. Not only that, but I pushed my 2's rank back up to GC as well, and then to top it off, my 1's rank is now sitting at the highest it's ever been at, at Champ 1 Division 4. I found that my shooting not only improved over the course of the 100 hours, but has also made me slightly more creative when it comes to threatening the goal. Playing a lot of 1v1s has helped me to better understand how players will react to shots and how to play around them. Obviously, I am by no means the best at shooting and there is still so much more I can improve on and learn, but I am very happy with my progress over the month. So for those of you who are looking to improve your own shooting, I suggest picking up a few good training packs. I've linked some in the description as well as a video where I built training packs for specific ranks. Then look to work through those training packs thoroughly while working in a lot of these 1v1 games and free plays in between. The training routine I outlined in the beginning of the video is a really good way to work through your shooting and improving your all-around accuracy. If you want to try to challenge yourself further, look to work through all the different ways to shoot. Everything like power shots, bounce dribbles, and general air roll shots. Going through and spending a good amount of time dedicated on each of these individually will bring your shooting ability up a huge amount and make you a massive threat from just about anywhere on the field. Now, for those of you who made it to the end of the video, thank you for sticking around. I know not many people might watch to the end of these things, so I genuinely just want to say thank you. Please let me know what you want me to work on for the next 100 hour video, and if you want to support me further, head over to my Twitch and catch me live there sometimes. But until next time, peace.